Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of representing an unknown quantity. This is standard 4.5a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 21 off the 2016 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Mark has 45 base football cards, and Josh has twice as many football cards as Mark, and then Josh buys five more. So we need to find F, the number of football cards that Josh has now. So that's quite a few clues there. And this right now is our variable. Sometimes we call it our variable if it's a letter that represents number. In this case, we're calling it our unknown. Either way, we're going to use this F to represent really what we're looking for. So we've got two boys, so let's, let's see if we can do this here. So I'm just going to write Mark, and I'm going to write uh, J for Josh. That's going to help here. So the only real number we get is 45. Mark has got 45. So we've got that down. Mark has got 45 football cards. Josh has twice. So we have to know what twice means. Twice means double. If you want to talk about it in terms of multiplication, we can say it's two times. So Josh has twice as many football cards as Mark. And so we can say that he's got two times what Mark's got. And Mark's got 45. So what we need to do is we need to say it is 2 times 45. And so 2 times this 45, that is, we can either do 45 times 2, or we can simply just add it twice. Either one's going to get you the same answer. So that is going to be 5 times 2 is 10. 5 and 5 is 10. 4 and 2 is 8. 4 and 4 is 8. Add that 1, you get 9. So really it's the same thing. 90. So let's say he's got 90. Now, Josh had, had, that's past tense, because something else happened. Josh then bought 5 more. So really it's just going to be a plus 5. So it looks like if we really wanted to know, he's got 95. So which of these equations, though, shows what we did? Well, let's just work out all of these equations and see if they get us to 95, because we know that that's really what we're looking for here. So this 2 times 45, well, we know what that is. We know 2 times 45. We've already done that work. That's 90. Add the 5. Yeah, that's going to be 95. So A is looking pretty good. Let's check the other ones. So on B, we at least double the 45, which we're supposed to. That's 90. But then we subtract the 5. And you see it says that Josh is the one that had twice as many football cards. And then Josh bought 5 more. So when you buy 5 more, you're going to have to add rather than subtract. So that's that's what makes that, that would be 85, and that's not what we're looking for. C, they've got this weird 2 plus 45. That's not how you double. And now you've got your 45 times 5, so we'd have to do that first if we're looking at order of operations. So that's going to be 25, 20, 22. So 225 plus 2, that's an awful lot of football cards. That's 227 is C, not what we're looking for. And then D just never takes into account this twice. It just adds everything. Instead of twice being two times, they just we just line it up. 2 and 45, 5. Doesn't quite work. So that is going to be 12, 52. We know that we need this 95 right here which means our answer is A.